now we're going to download the tests from the wave tester, the OWL, into the computer. So the program is OWL Reporter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in to here. This is also the same port to charge it. It has a regular cube, just like a phone. So these are rechargeable, so you always want to make sure they're charged before you go out. And you plug it into your USB. It usually powers on automatically. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here, and we're going to hit Download. It's going to search for the OWL device, reading the data from the device. And then we have to add some information into this. So we're gonna set the standard, which is gonna be T of B. Come on, you get up, oh, there it is. And then it's gonna give you the valid wavelengths according to this test. So these are all grayed out on the side when you select this one, because they're, they're all gonna be in, within those parameters. So we're using 50 micron multi-mode, OM3. And then you have to put the feed in for, uh, an accurate reading. So in meters, that's probably about three meters for what we just did. And then you're gonna enter the number of connectors. So now we have two connectors um, on the whole run. So put two in there, whoops. And then we're gonna have two splices next and then you can put the organization okay we got next the date of the test which today is the 14th and to the name so we'll put office test So here is our first test result, and then you can hit the arrow to go to the next result. We only saved two in this particular test, so there's number two right here, and then we go back and there's number one. Now you can preview all of the tests right here. Um, if you had hit any of these buttons up top, these arrows to look at other ones, it shows you 10 at a time, unless you go all the way back, and then it'll list out first 10 and then you go to the next page and do the next 10 uh, but you can print these out you can print it to a printer to print out a sheet or you can print to a PDF pretty much the same way we do with the regular certifications for our uh, RWC tester this is the printout report of each individual test and then there is a summary page, which we can print out, which gives you this particular one, the US Drop Forge was um, a six strand, and they all pass. And that is how you do your test results. It's the same for single mode and multi-mode, other than the information that you put in at the beginning.